get up, you've got to be fierce, bold, strong. You need to live presently. Don't be afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. You can go the distance. What happens in the end isn't always fate. It can be a reason. Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're gonna to be adding a vocal part to this piano part. I already have some lyrics that I've spent some time writing. This piano part we made in a previous video using the Virtual Pianist by Ujam. And the part sounds like this. You know, it's got a strong melody already. So I want to capitalize on that melody and have the vocal come in after the first four bars and then boom, bar five, we will hit and we will play out this section. So to do this, I'm actually gonna just take the MIDI right from the melody and adjust it for the vocal. Uh, we did this in a previous video, it's a similar idea. So I am going to go to that piano part, find the melody that interests me. So this is the part that interests me. I'm going to copy it, then I'm gonna to go to any blank pattern and just paste it in an open channel. Uh, the reason for this is so I have somewhere I can export the MIDI from. I just don't, I just need to have it somewhere I can export from without all the other notes. There are a few small issues with this MIDI as is. First, it is extremely high. So I'm going to take this down an octave. Next, there is some overlap between some of these notes. And the average length of the notes is pretty short. For the most part, I'm going to choose to deal with this directly in Synthesizer V. So if you hit Control Shift M, you can export it. I am going to call this uh, the Piano Melody 2. And I'm going to go ahead and save it and close this. Now I'm going to open up Synthesizer V. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this location. Now, I don't remember where it went. It went somewhere on the computer. So we'll hit Control Shift M, copy that file path so that we have it. Open a new Window Explorer, go to that file, and then, uh, there we go, we got it. So I am going to now go to Synthesizer V. So I'm gonna grab Piano Melody 2, drag it on, Create new tracks. Uh, this is fine. It's got our notes. Hit OK. Uh, do we want to clean up the imported MIDI? I will process it manually. I will deal with that. I like making the decisions. We will go delete track. We will go to Natalie for our voice. So I just got rid of the other voice on the top. It's not playing anything, so we got rid of it. OK, so here's, here's our song. Here's the MIDI. Right now, it's hilariously short because these piano notes are just these little itty bitty plucks. Um, if we listen to it, La, 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 la. Yeah, uh, we don't care about these first notes at all because they are part of uh, the intro, which we're not going to be using. And right here, the lyrics are move, get up, you've got to be. We'll do just this first, this first line and then we'll move along. I'm holding control scroll, by the way, to change them. So these are the change the zoom level. So these are very, very short notes and it's not going to sound good. Uh, in reality, the notes need to be around this long for the vocal to have a, a shot at saying these things. The piano can be short, but not these. And these, I, oops, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to change my snap setting to do not snap, move it over and then hit sill to get rid of those. So I, I actually, I should have just changed the snap setting earlier. This is great. So then you don't have to hold any modifier keys. So right now, this is what it sounds like. Move, get up. You've got to be la, 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 la. Oh, I'm off by one. I'm off by one. Okay, so we'll delete these. Same process, though. We'll come over here. Now, we might want to connect these all the way. I don't know. Uh, the sill just means that there's like a little itty bitty gap. And it's a way of getting rid of that gap so that it performs just in a way that sounds more natural. This is what it sounds like. Move, get up, you've got to be la. Okay, so we'll work on this. I'm already thinking 
I want, I mean, we could try out some of the vocal modes just to start. We could try out soft. I tend to like soft. Move, get up, you've got to be la. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We'll run with that for now. So it's move, get up. And then the next part I have here is you've got to be fierce, bold, strong. You need to live. Okay, and the E's will all make longer and we'll scroll over. This is what happens when you use a piano part though. You get these, these little things like this. Adjust, adjust, and adjust. Presently. Now presently, I will have split across words by using the plus sign. To do that though, they have to be connected. So this is gonna be a bit of a toss up if I wanna do it this way. Could be okay, let's find out. Move, get up, you've got to be fierce, bold, strong, you need to live presently. La, 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 la. The live is totally not getting enough. If I move live over a little bit, how's that? You need to live presently. Is there another way to spell live that would make it better? You need to live presently. It says A-Y. So for this, I am going to really quick consult the phoneme thing they have on their page. So there's this handy dandy phoneme list uh, here and I want I for live. And we've got vowel sick, peak sick. We want sick. So we want I-H is what we actually want. So this is A-Y. Let's change this to I-H. Does that sound better? You need to live breath. There you go. It's better. It's still kind of short. I don't know if the getting rid of the nudging it a little bit is going to do it. It'll match still pretty closely. Um, you need to live present. See, it sounds a little off. So maybe the way I had it before is better. Old strong. You need to live presently. La, 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 la. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's continue. I'm gonna add in the words over here. Don't be afraid. So it's afraid. Let's see how it spits it up. And again, we're going to drag these out, get rid of the gaps by clicking the convenient button that pops up. You need to live presently. Don't be afraid. La, la. That was pretty good. Uh, let's continue. Of what will happen. It happens spread across two notes in the, and this is going to be the word and. It's grayed out because it's got overlap. Let's really quick just deal with these though. That'll go, that'll go, and that'll go. This will come over. And this one has an issue because of this over here. We'll take that off. Get rid of the sill, get rid of the sill. And then it'll be the word and. But in the end. Don't be afraid of what will happen in the end. La. Perfect. Um, we're definitely going to need to maybe touch vibrato here a little bit. We'll pull this one back. There's some more overlap here where we don't want. Pull this one back. Yes, yes. In the end, you have what it takes. Let's just get the rest of these in. You can go the distance. This should be distance. I need another note here. So this is gonna be different than the piano part here. I'm gonna say distance plus you can go the, and is this not breaking up correctly? Uh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where's the other half of that word? You can go the distance. And then it's gonna be the same thing twice control c and then over here control v and paste them all right let's see where we're at so far move get up you've got to be fierce bold strong you need to live presently don't be afraid of what will happen in the end you have what it takes this might be a little too low for her actually so i think i actually am gonna experiment move get up you've got to be fierce bold strong you need to live present yeah, that was a bad idea i'm curious about these sounding an octave higher like if i move them up here 
This will be interesting. You hold shift alt by the or control shift to move them up and down without left to right stuff. I think shift might also do it. Yeah, shift does it too. Oops. I would deselect stuff. Pull it up. Afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. Hmm. We go down instead. No, I uh, just want this one. There we go. This will be interesting. Afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. You can go the distance. And then what if this one hit like, oops. Oh yeah, the shift key is going to be important. A smaller one. Distance. You can go the distance. All right, I'm going to add a Maximus to this real quick and give it just a bit more bright and a Lux verb to have some reverb. The distance, you can go the distance. La. Be a longer verb. La. The distance, you can go the distance. La. La. I feel like it's. It sounds like a duck to me. Live presently. Don't be afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. You can go the distance. La. <laughs> but la at the end always gets me. Okay, I'm gonna finish the lyrics real quick. It should be what happens in the end. What happens in the end. Except I just have in end. Need another note. What happens in it? In the end. I did not think of this. Distance. What happens in the end? Okay, this uh, probably should be separate, actually. Oh yeah, bring that up an octave. La. What happens in the end? La. I'm going to experiment up front here with having these words be connected. It might just sound better. Having them separate has a certain sound to it, but let's just see real quick. Move, get up. You've got to be fierce, bold, strong. You. I think I kind of like them separate. All right, so I've been experimenting with some of these vocal modes now that I've sort of got the parts how I want them. And I think in the beginning, it would be worth it to definitely start out with soft. So we'll go to the soft, we'll click to set a value, and this is going to be kind of it. And then here, I think we'll actually bring the soft vocal mode to have less influence. And then at the end, we'll have it come up. Um, so it will come down slowly over time. We'll delete this as well. And we are going to bring up the bold and we're gonna, oh, we're gonna edit bold. I'm gonna click bold doesn't have anything. And I'm going to add bold, come up pretty dramatically and then fade out. And so it's it's going through and sort of making this adjustment. Presently, don't be afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. You can go the distance. What happens in the end isn't always fate. It can be a reason. That's, that's so nice. I added some strings at this point, we'd really look at starting to add a lot more instruments and really turning this into a full-fledged track. But hopefully this gives you an idea of working with Synthesizer V, taking a melody, translating it in there, getting the words in there, and sort of just making it work. And so this is where we're gonna stop. Are there things we could still do? Yeah, you could go in, you could finesse things even more. Look at vibrato, maybe adjust length to get performances exactly how you want them. But this is pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with where we are with this. All right, here's our final result. Move, get up, you've 
gotta be fierce, bold, strong. You need to live presently. Don't be afraid of what will happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance. You can go the distance. What happens in the end isn't always fate. It can be a reason. There you go. Pretty freaking cool, man. I'm always blown away by Synthesizer V. There are things we could do to like even finesse it further. I could go in, try and fix There's like one or two timing things that I know I could spend a lot of time on and I'd probably come back the next day and change my mind about them, which is why I'm not worrying about them right now. And, you know, little things that we could do with the words, like slight pitch drifts. Maybe we have it lean into certain phrases things like that. But that is how you could take a piano part and just add it in. Also, if you didn't notice, there are now strings. I added some strings here that are just playing this. Um, it's a pattern library. So it's just playing this repeated uh, figure underneath. And at this point, I'd really look at adding a lot more instruments and building it into a full track, writing out another verse. That kind of a thing. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, feel free to drop them down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day. Happen in the end. You have what it takes. You can go the distance.